For one thing, I thought putting the receiver up here on top worked very well. As you can see, I have the antenna sticking right through here. I drilled a hole in the canopy and I got the antenna sticking right up through there. But there's two antennas, so I put the other one horizontally right here. So I should pick up signal in all orientations. And the receiver, which is a D4R2 FreeSky, is out of the way. And you can see the wires right there. So when I put the canopy down on the side, the wires are completely out of the way. So I like that setup. I checked the CG and it is balanced on 3 inches with a 2200 milliamp hour battery. I'm thinking about just giving it a little bit of up trim on that elevator just to make sure. Okay, I guess it's ready. All right. Okay. Yep, throttle works. Going on out. This is the maiden flight, so I don't know if it's going to work or not. Like I said, it balanced pretty good at the CG at three inches back on the wing. The other thing is we have to hope for no golfers. All right, let's just get out here in the middle. We'll give it a launch. Oh, see right away, it's very lofty. Give it some down elevator. Alright, trying to keep it in the viewfinder. Yeah, it just wants to go up and up. Keep giving it more down elevator. I'm going to give it some, I'm going to give it back to the center on the elevator and cut down on the throttle a little bit. Now it's gliding. All right. Do this, let's bring it down. I'm just going to cut off the throttle to see it glide a little bit here. See if it stalls out. Doesn't appear to. Alright, throttle back on. Looks like it's doing good so far. Coming in hot there. All right, give it throttle again. That was a little too hot for my liking. That thing really flies hot. I mean, it's fast coming in, so when I land, it's going to be a definite skid. Fast skid. Is I think the wind is coming from that direction. Runs nice and smooth, that's for sure. I can just barely see the LEDs there. I don't want to get into a tip stall situation. It didn't tip stall coming around that corner, so it looked pretty good. Go out a little further. Maybe if I just you know, low here. Now I'm going to cut the throttle. Let's get it in. Come on. I just had to plop it because I didn't want to hit that bank. Which is the T. 
I'd get teed off if I run into that tee. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. I couldn't wait for the grass to dry up and the mud to go away, so I did it. There it is. The flight test. Night Radian from Horizon Hobby. Alrighty, so it was kind of appropriate to fly the flight test on a golf course. Not Edgewater golf course, but it is a golf course. Okay, so my thoughts after the first test flight is it flew pretty good, but there are a few things I'd like to say. Let's take a look at it on the bench. You could see how long I was up just from the video, but I think it was, you know, maybe it was up there four or five minutes. Let's check the battery voltage. Okay, so I got 12, a little over 12 volts. 12 volts roughly, 77%. So I thought that did pretty good considering I had a long flight and plenty of power-ups, speeding, testing. Yeah, I thought it did pretty good. So 77% left, that means I could fly a lot longer. The other thing was when it hit the ground, it sucked a lot of dirt up in the hole right down in the bottom here. Grass and stuff went in there. And I know that's supposed to be a vent hole, but there are some other vent holes on the side. So I went ahead and just taped that hole up. Because I didn't want to get any more mud and dirt up in there. And I had to clean the props because all kinds of grass got on here. I don't know why they have a hole in the front. Because there's no screw inside here on the spinner. The screws are on the sides right here. So I don't know why this hole... But stuff got up in there too, and I had to take it apart and clean it out. Be nice if there was a plug to go over that or something to cover that hole. I did note that because I have the 2200 milliamp hour battery, it is a little bit heavier and glides a little bit faster, but it still seemed to be pretty floaty, pretty lofty. So I was happy with it, and it balances out perfect. With the 2200 pushed all the way back like that, it'll balance right on that three inch balance point, the CG. Three inches back from the wing, not two and a half like it says in the manual. That was a mistake. So I'll probably think about laminating the bottom to keep dirt off and around the, the tail on the fuselage to keep that from breaking. I'll put some lamination film and maybe on the front edge of the wing and on the tips. That'll add very little weight, but it'll give it a lot of protection. We'll see you next time, and next time I'm probably going to have a night flight, so stay tuned for that. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon and the notify checkbox inside there, so you'll get a notification about the next video. Thanks for watching.